very much for yesterday. It's my pleasure. It was a wonderful day for the youth of Fukushima. え、本日は昨日の開催について、え、記者の皆さんとお話ししていただければと思います。I would like to ask you about impressions of yesterday's event with the media people. Okay, uh and uh this uh video uh will also be recorded by my side because it's an interview and I will publish this on my YouTube channel. この会はあの私の方でもビデオに撮ってその後あの why did you accept the invitation to participate in Town Hall Meets Fukushima Futures event? Um, I initially get the request on the WiseLike um, website. It's a public website, and I get invitations from international um, people all the time. Um, so I'll wait for you to translate. Eh? not translate so you just keep going ah, okay I'll just keep going okay right um, and so I remember um, visiting Tokyo uh, and also encountering in the supermarket parsimon uh, from Fukushima I told about this yesterday um, and so uh, I've always uh, wanted to meet people um, in Fukushima even though I have no uh, prior uh, visits so when I see the invitation I thought it's a really good chance え、ありがとうございました。え、昨日、福島の若者と交流しまして、どのような印象を持ちましたでしょうか。What are your impressions of interacting with the youth yesterday? I think the young people, they are very much uh, well in tune uh, with this format. They uh, speak with a lot of ease and in a way that really encourages um, direct to the point responses so that's very impressive there was no um uh or things like that uh, there's uh, no um anxiety that i could detect <laughs> from the uh, video conference it looks uh, very spontaneous and is uh, in my mind one of the more smooth conversations i've had of course that's also thanks to the interpreter え、では次の質問です。え、はい。え、私たちはタイワンと福島の交流を今後も続けていきたいと思っています。え、お互いの良さを生かして一緒に学んでいきたいと考えています。え、そのための緊張を教えていただけますでしょうか。We would like to continue the exchange between Taiwan and Fukushima. We want to utilize each other's advantage and learn together. Please give us some tips on how to do that. Thank you very much. I think um, web conferences such as this has the potential to reach a lot more people even after the fact because we will publish the recording. So my suggestion is to put the recording, as today's uh, recording will be, uh, into the Creative Commons so that people can um, add their own subtitles, they can remix, uh, they can make their own journalism reports or uh, their own interpretations and so on, so that this conversation is just a beginning of future conversations. Now we will take questions from reporters from the companies, media companies. え、今日参加しています。4社の記者の方より、まず1問ずつ質問をいただきたいと思います。
When asking questions, please identify yourself by your name and your company's name. えー、では、えー、まず最初に NHK 福島放送局さんお願いします。Now let's start with NHK 福島 Broadcasting Station。取材を頑張ってみます。少し出てきます。はい。This is Eri Takasu from NHK Fukushima, and I'm here to make a report about the yesterday's meeting. And I have one question. So, as you told us yesterday, your favorite quote is there's a crack in everything, and that's how the crack gets in. But, in your opinion, what do you think are the cracks, and what do you think the light for Fukushima, where the earthquake and nuclear disaster occurred、um, 10 years ago? And based on your personal story, could you tell us why did you feel this empathy for this quote? As I alluded to in the beginning of、uh, yesterday's conversation, Taiwan also suffers from e a r t h q u a k e all the time.、Uh, when there is an earthquake that you feel it,、um, chances are that we will also feel it、uh, in Taipei、uh, and the other way around too.、Uh, we also had our own、uh, September 21st large earthquake,、uh, which of course h a v e a lot of help from Japanese friends.、Um, and so I think we are uniquely、uh, Uh, connected not just culturally but just from the first hand experience of the restoration and revitalization efforts that's needed after a natural disaster. So I think、um, that the light gets in is not just a metaphor, it's literally、um, people who have felt similarly connecting through the internet or through tourism once tourism resumes、uh, and bring each other's new hope and new ideas and innovations、uh, to. One another. So I think the crack、um, is the natural disaster, and the light is the empathy between the peoples that had similar experiences. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. えー、では次に福島みゆさんお願いします。福島みゆさんお願いします。Thank you very much. 福島みゆ、please. Hello, ロリンさん。Hello. Hello. 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 すみません、福島みゆさん。みゆさん、マイクを取った、ごめんなさい、マスクを取っていただけますか、yeah. はい。I have a question. It has been two years since the earthquake and the nuclear accident. But how often is the news about the earthquake and the nuclear accident in Taiwan?、Mm -hmm. Yeah,、uh, in Taiwan,、uh, we continue to have public conversations about the future of energy,、um, about how to be more resilient, and Fukushima often、uh, comes up in such conversations. So I would say that the Taiwanese people are still、uh, very much paying attention、uh, to the important issues that w a s raised、uh, by the experience in Fukushima and that we talked about in yesterday's conversation、um, with the young people. はい、よろしいでしょうか。はい、ありがとうございます。はい、ありがとうございました。Thank you. では、はい、えー、では、次に福島民法さん、お願いします。福島民法さん、いらっしゃいますでしょうか。お願いします。はい、オッケー、ハローどうですか。福島民法の深澤と申します。えっと。えっと、政府の方、入りますでしょうか、はい、はいはい、入ります。お願いします。じゃあ、質問に移らせていただきます。台湾では未だに、えー、福島県食品の輸入地点が続いておりますが、規制緩和を少しでも、えー、前進させるため、どんなアプローチ、情報発信が必要だとお考えでしょうか。はい、はいあ、uh, I, I understand.、Um, unfortunately, 
Taiwan has been a burning import of agricultural products and uh, seafood from Fukushima uh, Prefecture. So it has been a serious problem for us to solve and uh, to overcome our stubborn bad reputation and to lift up the restrictions. What measures should we do, should we take, and what kind of information should be provided? We appreciate your ideas advice. Yeah, uh, when I visited uh, Tokyo, I've discovered that people in the supermarket, they make a, a special shelf uh, for not just parsimons, but for agricultural products uh, from Fukushima and nearby prefectures. I think this is a excellent uh, way to communicate uh, the current restoration process. So more tourism and also more visits that will definitely help. From what I understand before the pandemic, um, the people who visited Fukushima and stayed for multiple days, um, a large portion of them, a large percentage uh, was from Taiwan. So evidently, the Taiwanese people are willing to travel to Fukushima and see for themselves how the restoration process is going on. Now, unfortunately, uh, the COVID has put this uh, ongoing um, gradual increase uh, in tourism uh, to a sudden stop from Taiwan, uh, but we... Uh, perfectly um, know for sure that this is still some place that people uh, very much want to visit uh, after the COVID. There's a lot of people that says they will visit Japan uh, once COVID is over. So I think uh, let's work on the vaccination schedules in both of our countries. And once that is done, uh, let's resume tourism as fast as possible. And I personally would be very much willing to visit. Thank you. Thank you very much for your advice, and uh, I'm looking forward to visit our Fukushima prefecture. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. I'm my editor, uh, chief editorial desk for the Fukushima uh, Bureau in Kyoto News. And I'd like to ask the, uh, to the anniversary of the earthquake and the tsunami disaster will come soon in March, but the Fukushima is still uh, struggling for this reconstruction. We face a lot of problems. And uh, for example, severe population drain, especially youth population, is significantly decreasing. And the Fukushima local government is start to now focus on the increasing of the uh, increasing the immigration from the mega city in Japan, and not from the uh, foreign country. And uh, hypothetically speaking, if you are installed in the post of the Ministry of the uh, Reconstru Reconstruction, uh, what do you do? Uh, what do you take a uh, what kind of the measure you, you, you will take, you would take? Uh, it's the first time I'm asked this hypothetical question. Often people ask me what I would do as the digital minister of Japan. I hope you Yeah, but, but my answer, um, but uh, I'm sorry, but I'm ans my answer is going to be the same uh, because of uh, the citizenship requirements. Uh, it's not actually possible <laughs> for me to be both a uh, Taiwanese minister and Japanese. Japanese minister. Uh, so I would not presume to say uh, that I would do anything in particular in such a probably not going to happen <laughs> hypothetical situation. But I will say that uh, the Taiwan uh, regional revitalization efforts uh, or in Mandarin Di Fang uh, is very much uh, in debt of the Japanese uh, regional revitalization projects. Our um, TESAS project uh, is taken uh, an inspiration from the RESAS and now V-RESAS uh, projects from the Japanese equivalent. So um, I think this whole idea of RESAS or TESAS uh, is a um, accountable transparency that is to say, everyone can see what's going on uh, in actual fact in an evidence-based way. And that fosters 
inclusive participation because people who have new ideas don't have to、uh, wait until they get into the public sector. They can be in the social sector or in the business sector and still propose very useful、um, designs for regional revitalization. So,、um, as I mentioned, the ideas of a transparent, accountable、um, dashboard. And a inclusive participation ethos, I think, is、uh, essential in connecting the sectors together.、Uh, but that this is、uh, in my position as Taiwan's digital minister, I don't presume to say anything about、uh, me being、uh, in the Japanese cabinet.、Uh, thank you very much. And uh, uh, you are the specialist on the IT, and、mm -hmm. uh, maybe the I, I guess that the. The technology information and technology will would help the,、uh, um, the speeding up the disruptive construction of the Fukushima. And、mm -hmm. do you think the digital、uh, transformation, digital、mm -hmm. IT,、mm -hmm. uh, IT will help、mm -hmm. the, the reconstruction?、Mm -hmm. Yeah, IT connects machines to machines. That's essential、uh, in doing a lot of the work. But digital connects people to people,、um, and the digital world,、uh, we don't、uh, get the limitation from the physical world. So that, for example,、uh, I can see you very clearly, and you can see me very clearly. We don't even have to wear mask <laughs> around each other、um, through this web conference. And so,、uh, I think、uh, my idea of digital、uh, is. The technologies that adapts to people's need, that、uh, is closer to people instead of forcing people to adapt to technology.、Um, so it's a purely assistive role, and I'm sure that anyone who designs with the people, not just for the people,、uh, can be more effective in digital transformation than any top-down central planning. はい、ありがとうございました。えー、次の質問に移る前に、今日参加している皆さんにお願いがあります。Thank you very much. Before we go on to the next question, I have some favor to ask you. Yes. えー、タウンホームズ福島フューチャーズのこの場では、えー、年齢や性別やそれから階層に関係なく、えー、オードリーさんとお呼びしています。I think we are calling you Audrey san and without、uh, regarding the age or sex or、um, other things? Yes. Of course. So we kind of disregard the genders of the classes where you belong or the ages when we talk in this Fukushima thing? So we will call you Audrey. Yes, definitely. I mean, we are all part of this Homo sapiens、uh, human community,、uh, and we are just fellow human beings. Okay. Then, I will ask you to go to the next one. So, I will ask you to go to the next one. So, I will ask you to go to the next one. So, I will ask you to go to the next one. So, I will ask you to go to the next one. So, I will ask you to go to the next one. So, I will ask you to go to the next one. There is still some time left, so we would like to.、Um, if you have any questions, please raise your hand. Broadcasting station, sir, please. Hi, Audrey, s a m a g a n Um, Hi. So, my、um, second question is you're, you're often regarded as a symbol of diversity. And in your opinion, what do you think diversity can bring to the society? And do you think your answer could be a clue for Fukushima where it's still keeping up the reconstruction process and、uh, many people have not returned due to the nuclear disaster? Yes. Uh, when I talked about inclusive participation, I have in my mind、uh, like the very young people. In the traditional democratic processes, 
uh, young people, especially very young ones, are not included in the democratic process. They have to be at least 18 years old to vote uh, or to um, exercise any political rights. But in Taiwan, when we say citizen participation, we now focus specifically on the people who are um, younger than 18 years old. Even though they are not technically speaking voters, they are still participants in the democratic process. And I think because the young people, they are less burdened by what we call business as usual, or BAU, um, they could think about new ways that are unconstrained by the BAUs that define the previous ages. And in Taiwan's experience, they are also much more connected, internationally speaking, um, to the communities uh, worldwide without getting uh, trapped into one particular silo or one particular uh, discipline uh, of thinking. So they are global citizens, uh, more of them are uh, compared to the uh, older people. So often to me, uh, by saying uh, we need to be maximally inclusive, I have specifically in my mind um, the young people and also the people considered important by the young people, even though that these people may not be part of your traditional representation in policy making. Thank you very much. Thank you. え、ご質問のある様方いらっしゃいますでしょうか。はい、え、では、福島民友の方お願いします。ちょっと待ってください。はい、お願いします。え、ビーチルアワディニーチネイチャーザネクストジェネレーションフルビルリッツザ future of Yes, um, I think uh, what I have answered in yesterday's conversation um, about the question about bullying uh, applies here. I think the two uh, very important things are the first, to like yourself, to be aware that this is a unique perspective into the world that nobody else has and is an important contribution to the societal conversation, not just about development or energy or policy, but about your own experience. This is very important. And the second thing is to make this a social object. That is to say, if there is any discrimination or if there's any uh, misunderstanding or things like that, uh, thanks to the contribution to professional journalists and also uh, what we call here the civic media, that is to say the young people could themselves be their own media, they can communicate this perspective uh, loud and clear with all the stakeholders and also internationally. And this will make sure that this um, agency, uh, that is to say the uh, perspective is spoken with the perspective from the people instead of just for the people. And I think this is also important. Thank you. さて、聞こえません。はい、え、ごめんなさい。福島民子さんお願いします。はい。じゃあ、ちょっと日本語でからいきます。えっと、今年、オードリーさんが日本を訪れた際、福島県産万歩学を食べて、Okay, oh, our second question is uh, as you mentioned, so 2019, you visited Japan, and you visited Tokyo, and uh, you ate there. Uh, ampongaki, uh, half dried persimmon, and you, you uh, tweeted Gekiuma, and mm -hmm. uh, it attracted much attention. And uh, we interpreted your purpose as uh, supporting our Fukushima prefecture. So, once again, would you tell us why you did that tweet? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um... 
First of all, I think uh, in the supermarket, I didn't specifically look for parsimons, for the record, <laughs> but it's there. <laughs> and uh, as I mentioned, I think it's a very, very nice design, uh, not just a uh, good thing for regional revitalization uh, or highlighting the contribution from each prefecture, but it is such um, such a tasty parsimon. <laughs> I mean, I, <laughs> I'm being very sincere in saying Kiyuma, this is not um, staged. Uh, I really think this is uh, excellent. Um, of course, uh, right after that, I went back to Taiwan uh, and the parsimon farmers uh, in Xinzhu and other places in Taiwan also sent me parsimons and they also <laughs> want me to say that those parsimons taste excellent too. Of course, that's true, right? So there's some friendly competition here. So um, I think my main motivation uh, is to highlight uh, not just to the Taiwanese people, but also to the Japanese people, that such a design in the supermarket uh, is a really good idea. And I really want to share uh, this feeling of getting very tasty food um, with the friends on Twitter. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, you encouraged very much our agriculture uh, uh, farmer. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. you. enjoyed our persimmon again. <laughs> yes, again. definitely. Yeah, はい、ありがとうございました。他にございますでしょうか。え、ありがとうございます。はい、じゃ通訳の方お願いします。オッケーです。はい。え、では、え、申し上げありません。私から一つお願いがあります、オードリーさんに。あの、I えっと、でも頑張ってくれました。え、ユニバーシティスチューデント、ヘルプアスとオーガナイズ so I want to accept one question from those university students. They studied in Taiwan last year, actually. Thank you. Hello, Audrey-san. Hello. Uh, it's glad to see you. We are Fukushima University students. I'm uh, Keishin Miao and... Uh, I'm Banki Madase. We want to ask you a simple question. Uh, what do you want to do uh, when you come to Japan next? Um, well, I'm sure that I will have a face-to-face, -face, not just through WebEx <laughs> um, conversation uh, of our experiences. And I really want to amplify this idea that Japan uh, is not just looking for tourism, but for people-to-people -people connections uh, that we have uh, seen a lot of eagerness from the Taiwanese people to visit Japan. Uh, and if I visit Japan, I will also convey this eagerness to the Japanese people. When you come to Japan the first time, you to okay, uh, definitely. Uh, I, I will definitely consider this. Uh, and uh, I also uh, look forward to visit uh, for, for my first time because I've never been to Fukushima. I, I also look forward to be um, my first time there. Thanks, Odorisa. Thank, Thank you. you. So this is the last question. As we approach the tenth anniversary of the Great East Japan earthquake, please give a message to the people of Fukushima. Um, first of all, I thank you again for putting this activity together. Uh, I personally learned a lot and thank you for getting the staff um, some time to ask 
questions. I specifically like the rainbow mask <laughs> that they're <laughs> putting on. Um, and um, I will probably share uh, my translation of a poem. Uh, it's on audrey.org uh, as a um, prayer or a blessing uh, to uh, all of us, uh, not just because we are uh, talking about the restoration of Fukushima, but also about the eventual um, uh, vaccination and the eventual, uh, hopefully, um, end of the COVID pandemic uh, worldwide. And so it's a very short poem, and I will read it uh, in a way that's kind of fast, <laughs> but it's on org if you want the uh, entire text. It goes like this. It's called Like a Larva Holding On for Transformation. It's by the poet Chen Yiwen. Uh, I translated it. I would like you to firmly resist your weakness. Like a chrysalis holding back a butterfly, a maple leaf resisting the autumn, a newly splashed droplet resisting break up. I would like you to balance your inner beauty like the structure of a snowflake, the four petal of a finger tree flower, a quatrain on a yellowed paper scroll, a still night, an empty spring mountain. I would like you to tolerate the secrets of a narcissist, forgive the twists of a moonlit river, look straight at the murky sky as rain falls down, just like listening to a naked prayer, like the ocean embracing the absolution of a storm. Then maybe you would be willing to walk through a declining border town, through a prosperous metropolis, see life, see death, see all the bustle and transience, dignity and cold lifelessness. Sometimes life is as quietly beautiful as a poem, as desolate as a vine, as intense as a soaring eagle, as lonely as a dust covered steel. And so time passes, places alter, faces change. It has been a long journey. We return to the room we settle from. Origin and destination curl into a perfect ring. I shall recognize the look in your eyes after calibration, clear, unswerving, like steel beads that do not rust, roundly in a dark room, reflecting pure light. Thank you. Arigatou Live long and prosper. Thank you very much. We are looking forward to seeing you again. Thank you. Um, until then, live long and prosper. Bye. Live long and prosper. Live long and prosper.